Good morning, guys. So, today you and I are going to talk about expectations and not just any types of expectations. Expectations you have on yourself and what you're probably going to feel at some point. Let's get into it. Now I'm being really mysterious. I'm sorry for that, but let's build up that anticipation so that we can deliver some type of meaningful message that hopefully makes you feel like, yeah, you know, he's kind of right. So this is something that I faced myself when I was just starting out. It was the biggest anxiety I had especially like at the university and in many ways it was something that was st stuck with me for a very long time it kind of is there still in some fashion and that is that basically you have this we humans do this all the time we compare ourselves to other people or we look at people with more skill or people that we perceive to have something that we don't or be able to do something we can't and we look at them and we appreciate what they're basically you know what they're all about and we are in many many ways going to be very harsh on ourselves I do this all the time like my favorite example is probably like you probably wonder sometimes where where am I actually going in all these videos well and if I haven't said that I'm going to the gym and what I basically do is that I go there, you know, every morning before work and apart from working out a little bit, I, I swim. And this is, this is the important bit. So when I swim, I've only been doing that for, I think so it's going to be two years very soon, my two year anniversary. And there are people in that pool that I look at, I, like both women and men, who have been swimming, you know, for years and years and years and they are so fast so fit that you know it's it's impossible for for me to ever be able to catch up to them and i look at them and i compare myself and i feel oh, i wish i was that fast i wish i could like you know perform at the level that they do and you will do this in coding as well i did it as well like I, when i first started out i felt enormous amounts of anxiety about not being so being good at what I do and basically not being able to do the job properly or rather not I thought I could at least do the thing I could I think I could you know I, I, I felt enough confidence that I could convince myself that yeah you can probably code but the question is can you code well enough can you code well enough that was the, that's the the subtle difference there that's the thing that killed me and it got only worse because when you read the job ads and you talk to the recruiters and like other people well some of them are this way and some of them are not all of them are not they talk about rock stars and they talk about only hiring the best and they talk about the requirements and they talk to talk to you about all kinds of ludicrous new notions about things you need to be able to do, things that they look for in a candidate, etc, etc, etc. And especially to a junior developer who hasn't really settled in into their knowledge, at least I felt this way. It felt, it felt, it felt really scary. It felt really bad because I, I, I felt like I had to be this superstar programmer and that that was the only way for me to work in this environment like in, in honest to god this is why i waited so long until you know it's the same reason i waited until i was in my 20s before i started programming because as a youngster i was completely convinced that i wasn't smart enough to do this and basically what i want to tell you is that you can put these things aside trust me you don't have to be a rock star programmer to be able to do this job. I think you should strive to be the best programmer you can be, but it's not a hard requirement for you to sit into the late hours of every day and code and to go through that thing. Like I know this makes no sense because this is an emotional thing. And just me saying these words may not convince you to not feel these things. You may feel them, but I'm really just here to try and to Tell, tell you from somebody who can truly understand how you feel and who have gone who has gone through that journey that 
it's not a hard requirement. Don't buy into all this crap about you know companies only hiring super programmers and get, you don't give in to that doubt that you're not good enough because the thing is even the best programmers in the world are they started out somewhere and the only real difference between you and them is that they stuck by it they have hard days as well i mean it's a, it's even hilarious to the, uh, that you will most likely feel an enormous amount of anxiety about basically creating bugs or causing issues or not getting a solution perfect. And the thing is that that's something you will learn when you get a little bit ahead, like further down the road, you will learn that that's everyday stuff. I mean, I produce bugs on a daily basis. So does Linus, to uh, well, not anymore, but uh, I, uh, maybe he does, but even the biggest, best programmers in the world are doing this. They cause issues because programming is fucking hard. It's probably one of the hardest things there is. So instead of feeling bad about, you know, not being able to perform as well as people have been doing this for years and years and years, you should pat yourself on the back and say, I have the guts to go in to probably one of, if not the hardest profession in the world and try to give it a go. That's fucking amazing. I'm honest to God, that's, that's how I feel about it. That's why you are, in my eyes, braver than almost every single person that you know. Because this is, a, this is difficult. This is tricky stuff. Most people don't even understand what it is that you do and you have the guts to try it, which I think is absolutely amazing. So trust me when I say you are good enough. It's just a matter of sticking by it. You just keep, have to keep on going, learn new things, try things, experiment, and above all else, make sure that when you fuck up and you're gonna fuck up, don't let it break you. Don't let it become that thing in like that fear that you carry with you. Let it be something that teaches you because pain and failure is probably the best teachers we have. And the way that I see it, whenever I fail like really bad, my first reaction is that I punish myself. I feel bad about it. And then I tra draw strength from that and I say, all right, what can I do now? to learn from this. What is the thing, what, 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 what went wrong? What did I do wrong? How can I prevent this in the future? And then I talk to somebody who's more experienced or I try to figure it out so that I can keep, get it with me because I won't let a failure just be another thing that weighs me down to put that on my shoulders and carry it around with me because it doesn't feel any value then. If it helps you get stronger, then, you, th th then that's the best thing for you. You should not let the, the fear that you feel weigh you down. You should let it stand on top of it. That's basically, uh, that's a quote of mine. Uh, you can take it if you want to. What I say is that I don't carry my fears. I stand on top of them because everybody feels it. Trust me, everybody feels fear. The, the question is, what do you do with it? So for those juniors out there, you don't have to be a rock star programmer. Nobody starts out as a rock star. You become a rock star by sticking by things, being passionate and, keep, and not letting things break you to just keep on going when things feel the roughest. That's how you become a rock star. And trust me, it's not about being a rock star when you start out. It's just about being good enough. And odds, trust me, I am 100% sure that if you're watching this, you are good enough.